I win, bitch. <laughs> what? What? Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I come to you today again in a little bit of a rush. I am actually doing a content day today. I'm gonna try and get some content for Instagram and stuff like that and I'm just gonna film it and kind of vlog my day really. I did one of these when I first started my channel and not the lie, it was all right. Like it wasn't anything special, but today I'm actually meeting my friend Lauren for the first time and we're just gonna go to different locations and shoot together and get some content and I'm actually really excited. I do have to be back for a certain time because I've gotta go to the hospital which is so annoying like, so I am on a time limit. But I also need to hurry up and catch the train to go meet her so that's what I'm gonna do now. I have planned two outfits, the one that I've got on and another one so that's something quite different for me because normally I just shoot the one that I'm in. So I'm gonna be shooting two fits and hopefully I get some good Instagram pictures. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, go follow me because why not? I'm so close to 2k on there. I can taste it, I can almost taste it. But yeah, hopefully it's a good day. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. I've just come with Lauren now. We're getting some Instagram photos. You want to go follow Lauren? I'll put a little at here. Oh my god. This oh my god. We've just sat on the place already. We're getting photos here. We're just walking around everywhere getting photos. I'm not sure if you can see, but it's like full on snowing. <laughs> We're shooting. It's, uh, it's been it's been raining. Paddle. It's been snowing. Oh my god! It's literally it's proper. Sunny. It's literally snow. It's, it's literally sunny. It's, it's sunny. What's going on? Yeah, but it's snowing. Like look at my arm. It's genuinely snowing. Well, I think we managed to both at least get one good photo that we like. We're gonna head to the um. I can't even see myself now. We're gonna. Oh my god. My camera's in, so we're gonna like, head to a coffee shop and change outfits and stuff, and um, hopefully maybe get a little drink to eat, and maybe this weather is gonna hold off because I can't get over it. It's snowing, yeah, raining, and the sun is beaming. Like I don't, I don't really understand this. A little warm and I'm Yeah, fine. literally. We have just come to Costa and sat outside. Lauren just go getting changed to go in her other outfit. Um, she's just got macaroni cheese and then a white hot chocolate with cream. And I've just got a white hot chocolate with cream because I'm having a big tea later on at home. But I'm gonna quickly, while I'm waiting for her, look through the photos that I've already got. And then, what's it called? Yeah, have a look through them and like like the ones that I like and then delete the ones that I don't. I'm praying I like some of them because I'm such a picky person. But the reason why I'm doing this is just because I want to like up my game more on Instagram. Like that was like one of my main goals this year to like really push with my fashion on Instagram. And like I buy clothes and then I don't, I don't wear them because I want to shoot them for Instagram first and then wear them. So I, this outfit that I've got on now with these jeans, I haven't worn and I've had it for like nearly God, about five months but I haven't worn it because I did I haven't had the time to take Instagram photos in it so now I can finally wear it. That's just how my mindset is but yeah. Um, it's successful so far like obviously you've seen the weather Jesus Christ I don't know what's going on with the global warming but there must be something in the air but yeah. I'm gonna drink this and have a look through the photos. So I have just got off the train. It literally took so long to get home. 
I was literally nodding off on the train, Mum. I was literally sat there, I was doing. You always do. The boy next to me must have been one. In fact, no, he was falling asleep as well, so um, he mustn't have been wondering anything because he wouldn't have been able to tell. Um, but I've just, I'm absolutely drained. I'm not even gonna lie, like I'm so tired. Um, we're just on the way to the hospital now. I've just, it's just an MRI stand I'm going for, but I'm sorry I didn't film that much in this video. I'm gonna turn it, I didn't know if to turn it into like a, a weekend vlog and film my operation in this video or just turn this into a daily vlog post it and then have the other one as a separate video i don't know i'll probably decide a little later on so i'm gonna carry on vlogging and stuff for the rest of my day and then see what happens guys i'm pretty sure i'll see that like we're at a full-on hospital and it's like this little like caravan looking thing that I'm going to get in my MRI scan in. We think anyway. I, I, I don't know. I don't even know. Not the limp. I literally, I've never given myself the ick before. This clip just did it me. I literally look like a grandma. Sorry, I had the worst cramp in my foot. Aloha! I am home now. I was in that bloody machine for so long. So you saw the whole caravan thing. So basically, if you don't know what an MRI is, it's like a little tube machine and you go into it and if you got claustropho if you've got claustrophobia is it no if you're claustrophobic you would not be able to do it because it's like it's like it's it's a bit like a bush club trial without the bugs but yeah i was in there for 45 minutes i was falling to sleep i'm so tired and i'm so hungry but i've decided to turn this into a weekend vlog because I am having an operation on Saturday. I'm shitting myself, guys. I, I I don't do surgery. I don't like it. I've literally been traumatised as a child. And then I've needed surgery. And I've just been like, no, I'm not doing it. I've, I've got the biggest needle phobia, guys. I won't even get my blood done. I have never in my life had my blood done, believe it or not. Fun fact. But today went really, really well. Um yeah it was really fun i'm really proud of myself as well because i've never met lauren before that so that was our first time meeting and stuff and it actually went really really well and it just wasn't do you know when sometimes when you first meet people it's like oh it's like it wasn't at all like at all and i'm not just saying that because she might be watching this video right now genuinely it was so good and i got at least one post so that's good enough for me um but yeah, this is officially a weekend vlog. The past three days, all I've done, guys, is written work for uni and gym. I started back the gym on Monday. This week, I've been getting my shit together. It's my half term. And I've just been... I've been working on me, kind of. I really wanted to start back the gym. And I'm not going to lie, I'm already seeing, like, changes in myself. Not just mentally, but physically. Like, I looked at the photos and I was like, oh my god. Like, I, I already see a difference in my body already. And it might just be me. I might, I might, it might be not anything different. But I just feel happier when I go to the gym. But yeah, I've got lots of work to do for uni. So if you'll see that probably but i'm starving we're having spaghetti bolognese and i can't bloody wait because it's one of my favorites it's one of my go-to's but yeah i'm just gonna wait till we have that and maybe i'll get i'll eat that i do want to just go to sleep but i do want to get some more written work done we've got like four essays due and i've not even finished one of them i'm a slow worker literally perfect timing my mum's just come up with my food she's done like so it's like the spaghetti, it's like half like flat and then the other one's like half, well, basically normal. But she's never done that before, so hopefully it just tastes the same. It probably will, it's just different form. But I'm going to watch um, 
Megan's new video and yeah, just eat this. I'm so hungry. Oh, good morning, guys. I've just woken up and I'm not gonna lie, I'm so anxious and stressed for tomorrow. Like, mm, it's just, I feel like it's gonna be on my mind all day today. To be honest, it has been all week. I'm just so scared, I'm not gonna lie. I hate surgery, I hate hospital. Like, scans and stuff like that, I don't mind. Like, that doesn't bother me. But stuff like this, it just, oh, it makes me feel sick. But I'm just chilling for a bit and then I'm going to get my nails soaked off. I'm really annoyed that I can't actually get my nails done, but hey ho what we've got to do but yeah i'm not gonna lie i'm still a bit tired i wish i could go back to sleep kind of just want to spend the whole day in bed today but i can't do that i'm not sure if i'm gonna go to the gym i probably should but i'm just a bit like scared for tomorrow because it's not like i've got time to like think about it and be like and like process it in the morning like i have to be there for 8 30 and so scared guys but i'm gonna post my photo that i got yesterday on instagram tonight i prepared it and stuff last night i do hashtags on it so i just need to get them ready but yeah i'm scared guys the state i'm leaving my room in this might not be messy to some of you but it is to me <laughs> I need to tidy it when I get back, but I'm just going to get my nails soaked off now. I'm kind of in a rush, so I'm not going to take you guys with me because I think I'm just going to come back home. I still have that cramp in my foot, which is really annoying because I thought it would have gone because I've slept, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm just going to do that. I am home now. Um, we went to my brother's and his fiance's for the bit and picked the kids up from school and stuff. And then I have got home and I'm not gonna lie, I'm so anxious for tomorrow. Like I'm actually scared that I might not go through with it because it's been literally years since my last operation and I just, oh. And the fact that this one's like in my mouth, like it's in my face, like, like. I'm actually so scared and I'm sorry this vlog hasn't been really like entertaining but it's just the reality of it all do you know what I mean like not all my vlogs are gonna be like amazing but this is more of a like a I don't even know what this is it's a mix really what the hell is going on with my eye but I'm just really really scared I'm not gonna lie guys like, I'm not I'm not even gonna come on here and that's like yeah yeah like I'm literally so scared like I don't want to chicken out last minute as well because I've done it before like I've, I've chickened out of a operation before because it I, my nerves get to me so much like I'd rather jump out of a plane like I genuinely would just rather jump out of a plane um and do something wild like that than have an operation even like it's only a minor one as well it's nothing like drastic but i need to pack my stuff to take like jammers and stuff it says to take jammers and stuff like that and oh my god guys look at my nails i bet we're all not used to seeing this are we i'm not allowed anything on i think it's just so they can check my vitals or something i don't know but it's because of that. i need to pack pyjamas slippers nightgown and he said to bring something else but i don't know i'm so scared like and then after that you'd think oh i'll be fine and stuff like that but i'm so stressed about uni i literally underestimated uni so much but yeah i need to tidy my room i need to take this bedding off because it's got like food stains on it um i've tidied my room a lot like a need the floor and stuff so I'm probably just gonna do a time lapse and get this done and out the way okay so i have finished in this room sorting out all my clothes that was on here and stuff like that they're just my pants that need going in the other room they're clothes that i'm selling this bit's always a mess and it's just because i've not finished decorating here and then i've hung all my jackets and stuff up 
and it's all clean thank goodness broom done wardrobe room done nathan's here say hi hello um i got my chips and curry and i'm just about to watch um the tgf new video and eat this i'm excited for it because i haven't really ate today i posted my as you can see as from my what's it called notifications i posted my new um instagram video video no, my Instagram post. Oh my god, I can't talk. It's delusion from being so hungry. So yeah, finally gonna eat something. We've just been chilling and we played. Nathan brought round his switch, so we're just playing. <laughs> One, two, switch, and there's like loads of different. Let me show you. There we go. Let me get the video off. How do I do it? Oh no. Get that off for me, will you? So there's like loads of li little different games you can play. Last time we played, I was really bad at this. I'm not winning on any of them. But now I keep beating him and he keeps trying to say I'm cheating when I'm not. I never said you're cheating. You keep thrusting it forward. You're not meant to do that. I didn't say that. The game says to do this. Yeah, you did say that. No, I never. Basically, guys, he's a bit of a sore loser, right? And you be honest. Yeah. He is. He's I a am. bit of a sore loser. Lo 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 loser. Where well, I take it on the chin. You can't, can you? So he says that I'm cheating when I'm not. I never said you're cheating, you lemon. You might as well done. I never said that, though. <laughs> I win, bitch. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Oh, it disappeared. No, you're not! <laughs> it says in the middle. Oh! <laughs> I didn't know that! That's why, right, because it was two. He literally had to... Vibration to check your opponent's dice roll. Stick with yours. Say something about your opponent's dice Stick with yours. Stick with yours. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, lucky shake! Come on. When you're ready, flip your I'm not saying come on, I'm waiting on you. Flip it. Ah, shit, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, do you know what you had? You had 99. That's why I told you to re-roll, because it was just one two. Oh. So guys, Nathan went home quite a while ago. It's 11.31 right now, and I just... Oh. I'm so scared, guys. I don't think people realise how much of like a big deal this is for me. Like, this is my biggest phobia, like, needles and, like, operations, like... It's like operations, I just, oh my god. I'm so scared, like this might not be a big deal to like most of you, but this is like such a big deal for me. I just want to be able to go through with it and do it because like I, I, I am, I, it is something that I chicken out of like, I'm not one of them people, I'm like in it to win it, like I'm not a queer. But with stuff like this, I just think, oh my god, like, it's just my worst nightmare. Um, I should be getting to bed, to be honest. I just watched a new episode of RuPaul's Drag Race UK versus the World. I'm mega, mega fuming, not gonna lie. Not gonna spoil it in case anyone's not watched it, but yeah. It's the time. If it'll focus. I'm just... So nervous, my heart's going pit a pat. I really hope I can get some sleep tonight because I know what my like anxiety is gonna be like. Not gonna lie. Um, some I will be shedding tears tomorrow. I'll be very, very surprised if I don't. Like, this is, you know, where like people have fit phobias of like heights, planes, stuff like that. No, it's just. 
stuff. Oh no, I can't even go into it. There will be tears, probably. Gonna try and be brave. But I feel like only really my mum knows how much this is a big deal for me. How much this is to me. Like she keeps saying to me, you can do it. Like she'll just stare at me and be like, you can do it. And we won't even be on about it. And I'm just like, you get me. I just want to make sure I do it and go through with it. Because I know at the end of the day it's only going to benefit me. I should reply to my friend. I'm going to reply to my friend Sophie and then go to sleep. But my bag is all packed with my stuff in. They want me to bring like jammers and um, a nightgown. Even though I'm not staying in. And if I am I will cry. Like they're not keeping me in. I I'm pretty sure they don't have plans to. Like I'm. that's something I'm certain about. So I don't understand why I have to bring jammers and stuff. But I've brought my. I've packed my book as well. Um, I can't drink or eat anything now which is annoying because I'm actually already thirsty but yeah I'm gonna go to sleep good morning guys it's about it's half seven I've just woke up I'm so nervous I could be sick like I can feel the anxiety bubbling inside me and I just feel so ill in that sense like I'm just so scared and nervous and anxious and I literally could be sick I'm so scared but yeah I'm just gonna get ready now I am just getting ready to go I'm not allowed to eat or drink anything and I'm thirsty like I need a drink but I'm not allowed one just taking all of my jewellery off because you're not allowed to have any on. I'll have to ask my mum to take this bracelet off for me because I can never get it off. I went, when I went for the MRI, I couldn't get the bracelet off. And he was like, he, basically, he wasn't having a go at me, but he was like, if you would have read the, the paper, you would have knew this. I was like, even if I would have, I would have been able to get it off to start getting it off. But... I'm surprised that like, like I'm nervous but normally I would be crying by now like, <laughs> not gonna lie like, with stuff like this I am a pussy like I'm not even gonna hide it, so it's, it is like my worst nightmare. Oh my god my battery's flashing, I'm gonna have to vlog on my phone guys, oh my god that is so annoying, I'm so sorry, I'm literally gonna have to vlog on my phone, I, it literally said my battery was full last night. That is so annoying. I'm so sorry that I'm going to have to do this. But, I mean, I used to vlog on my phone all the time. So, but yeah, I'm going to head on. I'm way there now. Just put, did my abs and done the two bands on me. I'm not gonna lie, I really don't want to do this anymore because I'm not really meant to be out here where I'm sat, but I'm meant to be in there. And then they said my mum can't be with me and I have to be on my own when no one told me this. It's just made my anxiety worse, to be honest with you. I literally feel like crying. I'm so scared. Don't want to do it, so we'll see if I end up going through with that. I would have gone through with it if it just like my mum could have been there. Like, as soon as I go to sleep, she can go. But she's not even allowed in the room where I sit and wait. Make it make sense. It doesn't, doesn't. I've just been back in. I don't know what they've done to my neck. <laughs> a, little, a little temporary tattoo. I think it's to show how where it is and that. Um, a bit less nervous now after talking to him, but I'm still really scared, not gonna lie. I'm absolutely freezing. I don't understand though, because they're making us sit out here, but when my mum just came in with me to talk to that guy, like I don't, I don't really get it. 
it's now quarter past 11 we've been here for hours i'm so tired So I need to get ready into these clothes and stuff and put all my belongings away. I actually feel like I'm gonna have a panic attack and stuff, like, because I, I can't have my mum with me and, like, that's, like, my safety blanket. So I'm a bit, like, I really don't want to do this anymore. I'm going to have to get changed. Guys, I'm not being funny. I think I'm going to have an anxiety attack. I literally need my mum so bad. I need to put these socks on and then bag everything else up and then people are coming to talk to me and stuff and then I'll probably go in for it but oh, I'm literally shaking, I'm so scared. Like I, I literally would have been fine if my mum would have been able to be with me, I would have been fine. I'm literally so scared, I'm about to go down now. Wish me luck. just on the ward now this side of my face is like numb but I'm literally so proud of myself that like you don't understand how much a major achievement this is for me I'm so proud I've got the cannula in my hand my worst phobia and I did it like I've done it it's all done but I could cry I'm so proud of myself this might be nothing for other people, but it's such a big deal for me. I'd rather jump out of the plane. The guy just came over and just said, I should be able to go home in 40 minutes. So, I'll be off home. I'm just dreading them taking that out. I don't want to look when they take it out. <coughs> not so sad. My phone's just been going off and it's not mine. I think someone's phone's in my bag, you know. Just give me this. Well, I've got a funny story to tell you, I'll tell you in a little bit, but they still not took this out. Oh, can't even look at it, it's not going to be sick. It's out, didn't even feel it. I just got changed into my jams, I'm pretty sure I can go home now. I'm literally, I can't describe to you how proud I am of myself. Like, I feel like I just won the Olympics or something like that. Guys, look at my face. I can't even lick my lips because it's just numb. It's not even wiped that off on me. I can't feel this side of my face. I can't move all the lips up there. Up, up, up. <laughs> I was actually saying to my mum, I just fancy a cocktail to be honest with you. But we're on the way home now, as you can tell. I am all in my bed, fresh bed. Oh, it feels so nice to be home. Got my little side desk. I need to take my tablets now. I really need to edit this video, but I think I need to just rest for the time being and eat my food because I'm starving. But um, I'm starting to get a bit sore now inside my mouth, so I'm going to take my tablets. Um, it's really nice to have a cup of tea. I'm looking forward to that. Um, I'll update you tomorrow or maybe a little bit later on. Um, at night and then I'll probably end this tomorrow and tell you how I'm doing and stuff like that I need to edit this tomorrow I'm probably gonna post it at around like eight or something instead of six but yeah thank you for coming along this journey with me I need to eat my food now hey everyone happy Sunday I'm feeling a lot better today I can feel this side of my face um I think the swelling's gone down a lot um, I've not had a bath yet, obviously that's why that's on my thingy. I'm going to have a nice chill tonight. Um, I've got loads of stuff to do, but I struggled to get asleep last night. I'm kind of still struggling to talk because it kind of hurts in like my jaw and my cheek. And I can't really open my mouth like wide to talk. Look at my poor lips. <laughs> and mum said there's blood all in my mouth, so I do need to... I don't even know if I can like brush my teeth, like, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna gargle some mouthwash and stuff and hopefully that'll help. Um, I do go back to uni tomorrow. Um, I'm not really meant to yet, like I, I should normally have like an, an, like probably one more day off just to recover and stuff like that. But I had two weeks off uni because I had this, this disease thing that I've never even heard of. 
and I had a sinus infection, which I've never had in my life. Like, I swear, ever since I've come to uni, I've seen that many different things. I had bronchitis, not a couple, a couple months ago, I had bronchitis, which I've never had in my life. Like, I've been gaining so many, like, different illnesses that I've never had. My immune system just must be shocking. And it's really dangerous because I'm bringing it home to my dad, who is, in fact, actually going on... Um, chemo infusions so I'm a bit nervous about going back to uni with the Covid rules now because you don't have to isolate um, and obviously with him going on Covid infusions even me bringing a little cough or a cold or a sniffle back to him can cause, it, it can be fatal for him which is honestly really nerve wracking but I just want to say thank you so much for watching this vlog, um, I feel like this was really realistic um, and that's how I wanted to go with it, I didn't want it to be all edited and super like aesthetically pleasing no because it's i'm done i had a like surgery sorry my arm's killing me i had surgery it's not going to be aesthetically pleasing it's that's just not life i was stirred i was anxious i was upset and then that's fine but um yeah thank you so much for watching this video make sure to subscribe if you haven't already because why not why not and make sure to let me know some future videos that i need to take these for the hospital bands off let me know in the future some videos that you want me to film because i will gladly do that for you guys and i will see you next sunday for another video bye